Hey guys, Mike Chang here in Mexico City. Today is gonna to be another incredible food day. I'm going to the world's first Michelin star taco stand that's been around for over 70 years. Then heading to Mexico City's Chinatown for some noodles and also some colorful buns. Finally, I have my eye on this local burrito shop that's supposed to make some of the best burritos in all of Mexico. And today we're just gonna be walking around, so whatever food we find along the way, if it looks good, we're gonna eat it. Yes, thank you. So this place is pretty darn incredible. So lying out the door before it even opens, and this taco stand has been in this neighborhood for over 70 years. It's such a unique taco stand because there's a lot of things I've noticed that is very different. So here, the meat is served in an entire piece and, and not chopped up. There's only four things on the menu. So this is one of those places that they do a few things and they do it right. And on the menu, there's pork, there's steak, there's rib, and they're award-winning cut is the garnerias. The ribeye was also really unique here is that most taco places, the tortilla is not made to order. Like here, the tortilla is literally made as the meat is being cooked next to it. First things first, let's start with the chuleta. This is the thin sliced pork chop. It is seared beautifully. It looks very juicy. It's glistening on both sides. I'll just try this on its own first. The only thing that's on this that I saw in Puerto is just salt and some lime juice. Okay, I think these tacos, the key is simplicity. It's not dressed up in all sorts of different condiments and seasoning. There's none of that. It's just a pure flavor of the meat. The pork is juicy as tender. It's got a delightfully smoky flavor to it. The tortilla is amazing. A beautiful chew, a subtle sweetness from the masa. Yeah. It just tastes like the, so the meat itself, just a little salty. It definitely tastes the sweetness of the pork, which is very, very nice. Not a lot of other flavors, but just a simple flavor of the pork and the tortilla. Never really had tacos like that before. And they do have a salsa to add. So I'm gonna try it with this. The salsa is crazy. It's so smoky and spicy and deep. That has a lot of rich, complex flavors in the salsa. That's also unlike anything I've tried before. That's delicious. Next one, I'm trying the costilla. This is a thin slice of beef. Also, it's a lot bigger of a taco than you would normally see. And there is a lot of meat in here. So this piece, you can see a bit of the fat. It's got a beautiful golden brown sear. Mm. That is a juicy piece of beef. I'm loving the heck out of this taco, by the way. I'm loving it. That steak is tender, it's juicy. Again, you're tasting this at its purest form. It's just a little salt and lime juice, a bit of savoriness, and just some bright splash of citrus. That's all it takes to make that piece of steak shine. Plus, with that subtle sweetness from the tortilla, I like tacos like this. It's a simple, not overwhelming amount of uh, salsa or condiments. It's really delicious on its own merits. I am trying some of the salsa just because it's here. I want to try it. The salsa is incredible, both homemade. I love the one with the green chilies and the crunchy onions, but the red one, I don't know what this is, but it's so complex and flavor is so deep and there's so much heat here. But the heat in no way covers up the awesome taste of the meat. Third piece, this is the steak. This is not even the best piece right here. Uh-huh. I like this a lot. It's so different than any other taco I've had before in my life. So you're really just tasting the ingredients here. It's so nice. I feel like you're not just tasting the seasoning, but just 70 years of passion going into these tacos. A little bit of their secret salsa. I really like this place. Mm. So the last piece is what they won the award for. So this is the Gonera, and this is a ribeye. Mm. 
Mm. So they're an award-winning piece. I feel like it's drier than the steak. The steak, I feel like, is the most tender one. I feel like out of the four cuts, the award-winning one was probably my least favorite. My favorite, I think, steak, the pork was amazing, the Castillo was good. This place, like I said, if you want a typical taco that's just full of condiments and a lot of different flavors and textures, this is not a place for you. Here, you just gotta enjoy taco in its most simplistic, original form. So you gotta kind of taper your expectations to what it is. For me, I loved it. I thought the meat was good. I thought the tortilla was amazing. Salsa is incredible. I never really had tacos just like this simple before. I think it's fantastic. Again, this this is the primary reason why I came to Mexico City. For me, waiting in line, watching the steaks hit the grill, watching the tortillas being made, this whole experience, and then finally eating the tacos, the whole thing, such a wonderful experience. Also, these people are so nice. I don't speak a lick of Spanish, they're so patient with me. Michelin star taco, first one in the world. Glad I was able to experience it. Don't really have any specific plans today after the Michelin taco place, so. Looked around in Chinatown, it's about a 30 minute walk from here. I don't think I've ever been to Chinatown, Mexico City before. I think it'd be fun to check it out. I just walked past something that smelled really, really good. So they're serving uh, michotes, and I don't think I've ever had that before. There's a lot of people here eating this, and I'm so excited to run into it. So michotes, if you don't know, marinated meats that's usually cooked underground, so all that flavor from the seasoning, the spices, the herbs, and the juice is slowly cooked into the meat. I got a pork and also mutton. Oh my God. Oh, that's so nice. Really juicy, really spicy. The meat is basically melting your mouth. This is way different than the tacos I just had. It's almost too much flavor. Mm. Yeah, the meat is so tender and definitely all the spices, all that flavor has soaked through. The, the flavor is so deep and complex. It's also incredibly rich and aromatic. There's the mutton. This is more tender. Wow. This is more tender. It's more melt in your mouth. There's tons of fat in here. Whatever I added to this, it's so spicy. Those are absolute flavor bombs. Oh, so good. So many random little food stalls. Oh, I love this. It just makes walking so much more enjoyable. Whoa, look at this quesadilla stall. So popular. So this stall has quesadilla and flautas, and everything is made fresh from this food stall. It's gotta find a place to eat. Everybody just eating wherever they can. After you pick what you want, add some cheese, some salsa, sour cream. Mmm. Mmm. I've been hot straight from the fryer. I got a chicken, I got a cheese, and I got a carne. Mmm. These are amazing. Really crunchy on the outside. Inside, meat and onions. Oh, that salsa has a nice kick too. I feel like I don't have enough sour cream covering this. Be right back. 10 seconds later. Coils are my favorite one. This thing has so much crunch. When you bite through, Soft, tender on the inside. The filling is delicious. You gotta cover this up with salsa, sour cream, and cheese. Again, piping hot, freshly fried. We're not gonna get better than this. Now I 100% need to go find a drink. This apple soda is so good in this country. Still got 15 minutes to get to Chinatown. It started to rain pretty heavily. That was pretty unexpected. So there's this random market I'm walking through. It's got everything from food to Pokemon to toys. 
ice cream. This is pretty interesting. So a couple of observations about this Chinatown so far. There are a lot of people selling these colorful rainbow boughs that look like they were pooped out by unicorns. And the second observation is, no Chinese people. I could probably count on one hand the number of Chinese people I've seen so far. Yeah, strange. So the Chinatown has last several blocks. I guess I should go eat a bow? Everyone seems to be doing it. Well, when in Chinatown, Mexico City, you get a bun. Hmm. Not bad. Pretty fluffy bun. Tastes like Nutella and rainwater. So this is on the edge of Chinatown. There's a couple of decent looking Chinese restaurants. As soon as you walk in, it smells like a place that will have some pretty good beef noodle soup. It's chilly and rainy outside. This will be perfect. This rain really came out of the blue. It wasn't supposed to rain until six o'clock. Even right now, uh, the weather app shows that it's not rainy, it's just cloudy. Also, the Chinatown is really interesting. It's very pretty. It's all decked out. I mean, it's exactly what you would imagine a Chinatown would look like if you've never been to Chinatown before. Buns weren't too bad. They're like the buns that I would get at uh, Chinatown in Japan. Definitely be more fun if it wasn't raining. My first bubble tea in Mexico. It's very lemony. This is supposed to be a peach tea. This beef noodle soup smells really, really good. They even have hot oil and vinegar. Okay. Yep, Chinese black vinegar. Whoa, not bad. Pretty beefy. I haven't had a bowl of beef noodle soup in a long, long time. It's beefy. Noodles are pretty chewy. Beef is tender. This is not a bad bowl of beef noodle soup. Wow, this feels so good right now when it's rainy outside. Mm. The hot oil's pretty legit too. I really wanna try the wontons. Toss some hot oil in there, a little vinegar. This wonton soup looks like it has a um, little dry shrimp and also little bits of uh, minced meat. That's kind of like a Fujian style wonton soup. This is not half bad. It's actually pretty nice. Mm. Thin skin, nice meaty filling. I mean, this has all the elements, little shredded egg, seaweed, dry shrimp. I might like the wontons more than the beef noodle soup. Oh my gosh. And the chilies they give you. Oh, these are so freaking spicy. Holy moly, yeah, all those seas are in there. Oh man, that is really, really spicy. Yeah, I'm sweating right now. This is definitely doing the trick to warm myself up. The wonton soup, add some hot oil, add some uh, vinegar, that's pretty legit. You want some good noodles and wontons in Mexico City, pretty good place. I would tell them next time to hold the lemons on the bubble tea. Okay, so this is really interesting. This taco shop, Manila taco shop, I think? It's supposed to be Filipino tacos. I'll try some Filipino tacos. So it's Filipino inspired tacos. I think this is more like Asian fusion tacos because they sell Peking duck tacos. Never thought I would have a Peking duck taco here in Mexico. What a pleasant surprise. So it looks like Peking duck, hoisin sauce on top, cucumbers, some scallions, and there's some uh, salsa on the side as well. Looks like some hot oil, maybe some uh, soy sauce. I also got a duck crab rangoon. This is wild. Peking duck taco. 
Okay, flavor-wise, this totally works, right? If you think about how Peking duck is usually consumed, it's usually duck, hoisin sauce, veggies, some scallions, all wrapped in a thin little crepe, which is pretty much a tortilla. So this is the perfect vessel to wrap up some Peking duck. The flavor is pretty darn good. The hoisin sauce, sweet, savory, tons of umami there. You got a nice crunch of the cucumbers. The tortilla is good. The duck is pretty toasty. My only complaint is some pieces, a little dry. Oh. But the flavor is all there. It tastes like a pretty authentic Peking duck wrap. If somehow the duck could be more juicy, Then this will be absolutely phenomenal. This is the Peking duck crab rangoon. Hmm. So a little fried wontons with just the duck meat inside. It does taste like maybe there's a little peppercorn or some kind of herbs in here that's making my tongue a little numb. What I thought this was gonna be, actually like crab rangoon with some cream cheese inside along with the duck. Right now, this is just pure duck. All right, this one I don't love. There's really not much seasoning in the duck. So you gotta find some sauce to go with the rangoon. And like I said before, duck meat, a little dry. And this for me, the flavor is just not there. I definitely like the tacos way more. Interesting concept. Like I said, if they're able to make the duck more juicy, then this will be a home run. All right, there is a thousand mosquitoes right now. I gotta get out of here. Dinner time, I've been wanting to come here for the past several days. So this is a restaurant that I saw the first day I was here. It was a little bit of a trek from where I was, so I didn't get to go. And here, they serve burritos, like ginormous burritos. And when you walk in, they ask you which size burrito you want. I would've got the big one, but I've been eating all day. I think I got the four cheese burrito. It's kind of strange. They didn't ask me which burrito I wanted. They just asked me to point to the size of the burrito I wanted. So it could be an interesting surprise. So this place does take a little time to cook up your burrito. And I've heard that about it. That just means extra care and attention goes into your burrito. I don't think this is the one I was trying to get. I wanted to get the four cheese ones. And I wish you guys could smell this one sniff. And I'm like Pablo's dog. Oh, this might be the most incredible smelling burrito I've ever held in my hands. It smells like grilled meats and cheese, lots and lots of cheese. There's, of course, a lot of condiments, spices, uh, sauces that comes with it. I'm just gonna take a bite on its own. Why I didn't get the largest size available will haunt me if this is the last time I'm eating this burrito here in Mexico. It's so out of this world. Must try, maybe one of the best things I've had in Mexico ever is this burrito. Wow, look at how glorious this is. So this thing, like I said, is very, very cheesy. So this thing is stuffed full of sirloin, Mennonite cheese, which is also called Chihuahua cheese. It's very melty, gooey, creamy cheese. And then you got even more richness coming from the avocados, little tiny speck of sweet zest from the tomatoes. This doesn't really need any condiments, but since it's already here, let me just squeeze a bit of lime juice on here. I don't even know what they brought me in terms of sauces, but this looks good. Just a little dab of that. I feel like it can only get better from here. Mm. Oh, the tomatoes, so juicy. And that is what's balancing out the rich cheese and avocado. And that splash of lime juice adds even more flavor and brightness to this burrito. I'm gonna add something that looks really spicy. It's not that spicy. Actually, can't really even taste it. Let me try something else here. Oh yeah, that one's spicy. Spicy and citrusy and delicious. That's a really good sauce, this green sauce in this little tin cup. This is really good sauce for this burrito. Yeah, I think of all the sauces I tried, this green one's the best. Guys, seriously, this might be one of the greatest things I ever had in my life. This is so freaking good. And this is not even what I came here for. I saw something on a photo that looks like a cheese skirt. I came for that, but whatever this is, oh, it's making my life right now. Melty cheese and avocado. I feel like that's a combo you don't see a lot. And I wonder why, because it's great. 
Oh, also, the tortilla is fantastic. This thing gives a really, really nice chew. And it's so toasty. This might have just ruined burritos for me forever. Mm. I'm so happy and sad at the same time. I think that happens every single time I find something that's just life-changing food. This is a life-changing burrito. If I lived in Mexico City, I will be here all the time. I will be here until I'm sick of burritos, which may never happen. Just for reference, this versus a Chipotle burrito, probably not the greatest example, will be like Mike Tyson in his prime fighting a boxing match with, well, me. That's how much superior this is. Oh, and that was hefty. That was at least a pound of burrito right there. I'm so happy with that. I'm surprised nobody's here. Like a little hidden gem. Best burritos. Nobody's here. If you're ever in Mexico, come try this place out. Life changing. Last thing, I've been missing a burger and there's a burger place I really, really want to go to, but it's not open till Wednesday. So two more days till that opens. This is supposed to be really good. Cheese slider. a great looking little burger oh look how gooey that thing is oh my gosh thin little patty onions pickles so much gooey cheese this feels like a delicious burger this is pretty much melting your mouth the whole thing the, the buns the meat juicy charred little patty in the middle and there's so much juice look at all the juice that's coming out of this super cheesy the pickles really balances out the richness the bun is so soft and airy and light Man. Mm. that's a delicious little burger for like two bucks that's so good. It's ridiculously buttery as well. I'm definitely getting another one. Oh, today has been so fun. As soon as I heard about the Michelin star taco place, I knew I wanted to come and try it. And the feedback's kind of mixed. I made a bunch of friends standing in line this morning waiting for the taco. They thought it was just okay. I mean, it is really subjective because it's not a traditional taco. But I do think the most famous cut of meat is not the best cut. For me, it's definitely the steak. It's fattier, it's juicier. The steak and the pork, my two favorites. All in all, so glad I was able to try it. And it was so much fun walking around Mexico City. I think I closed locked close to 2,000 steps today, which is important because um, 2,000 steps equals to be about like a thousand calories or so. And that's how I'm able to be here right now, eating an awesome burger and getting another one. Also, the burrito. I gotta go back and try the other ones I saw the pictures of. It's indescribable. This city just has so much amazing food. You could just walk around. There's good food everywhere. All right, it's getting kind of late. You gotta eat up, back to the hotel, get a workout in, and then tomorrow, Oh, man. I'm going to an omakase restaurant that's unlike any I've ever been to before in my life. Stay tuned. And as always, all the places I went to, listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.